Priscilla Presley is calling out suspicious minds amid her legal battle for control of Lisa Marie Presley's trust. The 77-year-old, who is the ex-wife of music legend Elvis Presley, recently filed a petition questioning the validity of their late daughter's will. In the court filings previously obtained by E! News, Priscilla claimed there were issues surrounding the authenticity and validity of a 2016 amendment to the will that handed her initial position of co-trustee to Lisa Marie's two oldest kids, Riley Keough and Benjamin Keough, who died by suicide in 2020. Now, in a statement to E! News, Priscilla seemingly touched on the legal drama. I loved Elvis very much as he loved me. Lisa is a result of our love, she began. For anyone to think anything differently would be a travesty of the family legacy and would be disrespectful of what Elvis left behind in his life. Urging the public to ignore the noise, Priscilla added, As I have always been there for Elvis' legacy, our family and the fans, I will continue to forge a pathway forward with respect, honesty, dignity, integrity and love. Lisa Marie, who passed away on January 15 at the age of 54, inherited Elvis' estate on her 25th birthday in 1993, almost 16 years after the death of her father. The trust included ownership of Graceland, the Memphis, Tennessee, home where Elvis and other members of his family are buried. According to Priscilla's petition, she and former business manager Barry Siegel were given the title of co-trustees in a living will Lisa Marie wrote in 1993 and amended in 2010. However, upon the singer's recent death, Priscilla discovered that a 2016 amendment to the will had been made, which replaced her and Barry with Riley, 33, and her brother as co-trustees. Priscilla's petition contested the validity of the amendment, noting how Lisa Marie misspells her mother's name in the document and that her handwriting appears inconsistent with her usual and customary signature. The petition also stated Priscilla never received a copy of the 2016 amendment when Lisa Marie was still alive, as it is required by the express terms of the trust, and requested that the document be deemed invalid. E. News has reached out to Riley and Barry's reps for comment but has not heard back. 